Hello! As you can see, my hair is a mess. And that's the subject of this part of this today's video, this today. Anyways, I wanted to get ready with me for Halloween because it's tomorrow, which means I have to start today. I don't want to crimp my hair. Um, using this, I'm not sure if you guys know what a crimp is, so I'm going to show you. And it makes the hair the, that sort of texture. But, as you can see, my hair is very dirty. And so I'm kind of afraid that Crimping it this greasy will fry it, so I'm gonna wash it first, and then I'm gonna crimp it, and then I'm gonna braid it. So I wanna try the snapping transition. Let's see how good I can do it. Ready? Oh, that's no, that's not right. Let me try again. Ready? Oh, much better. This is what my hair looks like when it's dry. It's pretty flat, but it's clean. And it's pretty long. Last time I curved it, it took me 45 minutes when it was significantly shorter, like here, maybe. So I'm not excited about how long I'm gonna be in the bathroom. I'm probably gonna look silly for the first few minutes just because I can move that for Just a minute. I just wanna, no, I don't wanna have to bend over the whole time. Um, When I get my next job, I really want to invest in some alligator clips or whatever you would call those to hold hair. Until then, I'm just going to use rubber bands and I usually work from the bottom up just so I don't have to worry about keeping it all sectioned once I'm done. So I'm going to start once this heats up. It heats up pretty fast, so separate my hair. Okay, I'm going to speed it up. But my hair is probably going to look silly for the first while until I'm done, so. Yay me. Or should I pause it so I can listen to music? No, don't do that. I also brought my fan in here, just because it gets hot in the bathroom. And if I start sweating, then obviously the crumb's gonna fall out. Which means that I have to do it again once my hair dries, and I'm not about that. Although I don't think I'm gonna get to use it, the fan, because I'm gonna have to plugins right there and I don't know if you can hear in the background that there's also an aquarium here in the bathroom so I'm gonna have to unplug the fan or unplug the crimper plug in the plug in the fan um if I want to use it but I'm not going to so this is the um it's stuck on the shelf on the cabinet Come on. the golden hot I think this came from Walmart or Sally's I'm just gonna use the mirror here to the side of my phone. The bottom part doesn't matter as much. To be like perfectly cramped because it's gonna be under all my other hair. So I will though say the things that women go through for beauty or beauty subject subjective. So I guess that's what I should say is the thing women go through to achieve the look that they want. It sinks already. Now I just have to do that to my whole head. Yay me. Okay, so here's probably where I'm gonna speed it up at. So. Just a minute. Okay, I'm back and all my goofy hair glory. I remember that my sister has this in her room and I'm gonna use it so I can plug in both the fan and the crimper and not disturb the aquarium, so.
probably thinking, wow, the top, you didn't really get the top. I know. Okay, I'm gonna go back through right now and do like this main part section. My hair does naturally fall into a middle part. And so I do like to go through, somehow I'm gonna do this, and just get like the front of the hair and the part. So I want as much volume as I can. So you'd think I'd invest in like a volumizing spray or something? That's cheap. No. Nope. That's cheating in my book. Although I do feel like as my hair gets longer, even when I do this, it it really does start to lose a lot of volume. Still Every time I do this, I think it's a girl that burned off part of her hair, which is one of the main reasons I stopped doing this to my hair. I used to crimp my hair a lot. Just because I like the way it looks. For the most part. been for like three or four days before it starts to look kind of gross like it needs to be washed out which is how I get this out of my hair just wash it in and clean it out my bird's calling for me they don't know I'm not in my room although usually when they chirp so I guess we're going to figure it out pretty quickly. You hear it in the background? Probably. Okay. I think that's going to do for what I want. At least Honestly, tonight I'm going to sleep on it, so tomorrow I'm going to refresh it. At least the front part. Hopefully, I can't even get my hair parted. Okay. This didn't take as long as it normally does, I'm surprised. This last time I said that we, well, I'm at 30 minutes of filming now. Um, but, last time I said it took me 45 minutes. I was surprised that I was almost done at my with my whole head at like 20 minutes minutes 20 minutes of filming. But it's probably gonna be about the same amount of time. Okay. So can you even see it? Yeah, you can. Okay. I wanted to make sure that you can. Now, I don't own like a heat resistant spray, or I would have used it, but um, I hardly ever use heat on my hair, so that's not really like a, a main concern of mine. Okay, I think I'm done for today at least. This has almost convinced me to get a haircut and take a lot of the length off. Almost. Not quite. Ow. So, I guess I'll see you tomorrow when I put on all my cost. I really hope I don't forget anything. I put all my accessories together so that I wouldn't forget them. Hopefully, if they're all sitting by each other, then I'll remember to grab everything. And I'll give you a hint for what the costume is. If you follow my Instagram, you already know what it is. Um, but I'll give you a hint. 
really big boat. That's that's your guess. Or your hint. That's not your guess, that's my hint. If you want a more specific hint, Jolly Roger. And I'm pretty sure that that's from Peter Pan. I'm not dressing up as anybody from Peter Pan. But that is, that's my hint to you guys. Jolly Roger. Okay, done with this, finally. The only thing I don't like about this crimper is that it doesn't have a heat gauge. Like it just get, heats up and gets hot. And that's it, the only setting is hot. So, I'm gonna leave this out until it cools down. And then I'll put it away after. Thank you to my sister for never picking me up after herself so I could use your scrunchie in the bathroom to hold my hair while I did this. Me and my fan are gonna go back to my room. I look like. Look, I am a. Well, not now that it's fallen out a little bit, but. I was just saying, I look like a founding father. Or as they've been rebranded nowadays. No, I won't say that. I'll get canceled for saying that. Not that I. Not that I care about being canceled, but. Who is it? This reminds me of like I don't know why I'm thinking of John Quincy Adams, but I don't think it's him. Okay, bye. <laughs> for now, bye for now. Okay, I'm back in my room now and I just wanna say that when I crimp my hair, the little hair is stick up like crazy. <laughs> so I'm gonna probably be using a lot of hairspray tomorrow. I'm gonna have a hat on for most of the night, but I'm sure at some point I'll take it off. But um, what was I gonna say? Oh, that I don't wear makeup. I don't like putting stuff like that on my skin just because it's always kind of been naturally clear like this. Like, even as a teenager, I don't like putting stuff on my face whatsoever. Not even like moisturizer or lotion just because I don't need it. I feel like I already have such oily skin that I don't need to any moisture on here more than what I already have. Um, so since I don't wear makeup, I wanted you guys to be involved of the process in the process of me doing my hair. That is something I pride myself on, being able to do very funky styles with my hair that you guys have never seen in videos because I don't put forth the effort for these videos to do something with my hair. If you see my hair ever styled in one of these videos, it's because I was somewhere. I was doing something in public before I filmed the video. Um, that is the first time that I have crimped my hair that I did not burn myself and I am very proud. Although a few times I did stick my finger between there's like these two like tabs on the end that you can hold it from both sides and pinch it down to get a, a front like a more crisp crimp. I did stick my finger between those a few times and I thought my life was over, but I'm okay. I did not burn my fingers. Usually it's not even touching the crimper itself that burned me. It's the steam that comes off the machine when it touches my hair. But I guess because my hair is like day one or day zero, I guess I washed it earlier and I gave it a very long time to dry just so there would be no moisture left in my hair before I did it. And so, um, obviously I'm gonna sleep on it tonight. So tomorrow I'll refresh just what needs it. Um, I'm a side sleeper. And occasionally I sleep on my face. <laughs> so it's probably just gonna be the front um, and like the part again like it's gonna be, cause it's gonna be in two braids. And then tomorrow we'll do the braiding. I'll do the braiding, you'll just watch. And um, and then, we'll, and then we'll put the costume on and then we'll be ready. Um, I want to go to Walmart. Okay, let me just say, not having a job stinks. Because everything that I want to do... It smells like hair. Usually it smells really worse. I don't know why I just left to sniff my hair in the middle of my sentence. But everything that I want to do requires money that I don't have. Or that I'm trying not to spend because I don't have a job right now. And I'm trying not to get so poor to the point that I don't have any money. So I paid my car insurance again this month. It was only like, for some reason, it's been unusually less than it's been normally. Um, it's been like, for the past three months, it's only been like $80. Please do not look at all the crap on my bed. I'm trying to move the fan. It's blowing up at the ceiling and that's why I can't fill it. Okay, that's better. Anyways, 
I guess I could do like a little life update since we're hanging out. Oh my gosh, my hair looks ridiculous right now. Um, um, I don't, still don't have a job, but I've been applying. Um, I went for an interview at Michael's, the craft store. The interview I thought went good. And the lady there said, um, since they do the schedule of three weeks out, if I was going to hear anything, it would probably be um, at the end of the third week. <clears throat> or um, like at the beginning of, in, just in the third week. And I was like, okay, I can wait another three weeks. Because back then it was like, <clears throat> it was October 15th when I went for the interview. And I called on, I have like a big calendar over here. I called on like, I think it was Monday because it had been like a week and a day. I called to see, um, you know, just about how much longer it might be to, to see, like, so I can watch my emails for the offer letter. <clears throat> And the girl then answered the phone and said, oh, they already did the hiring. And I was like, what do you mean? What do you mean they already did the hiring? I was so mad. I was like, the least that you could have done was called me and said, we've decided to go with a different candidate. Thank you. Click. It, it doesn't have to be this long. Drawn out for... Okay, that's a bird dander if you're wondering what that is. Bird feathers, bird dander, all over, everywhere, at all times. I cannot keep it off my stuff. I'm cleaning every day, trying to clean every day at least. But anyways, I was so mad. I, was, I told my mom, like the least they could have done was call me and say, you know, unfortunately we've decided to go with someone else. Thank you for applying. Keep an eye out for future offers. Have a good day, click. It doesn't have to be, like that's one thing I hate, hate, hate about job hunting is people who are so unprofessional that they can't even call you and tell you that the answer is no to your face like if I was an employer I would I would make the hiring process so easy if you applied and you're not what we're looking for I'm gonna call you and I'm gonna tell you no thank you look elsewhere or would you like to come in for an interview on such and such date and then if you interview if the answer is yes or no call you within the next however long it takes me to consult with you I need to consult with call you yes or no click click I don't know why it's got to be this such a big deal Apparently I used to live in the past where we use phones that go click on the, the receiver goes click on the, the rest of the phone. Um, I was so mad. I don't, I don't know why, but it's different if you are, like if you're a company that is not actively hiring and somebody applies, I understand not rushing to get back to them because you're not hiring. But if you're a store like Hobby Lobby, or Jersey Mike's that constantly has hiring signs up, you need to take them down. Because always accepting applications does not mean always hiring. Those are two very different things. If you're not hiring, take your signs down, please. I don't know why my sister just did that. If you heard that, I don't know what she's doing. I think she turned into a crow there for a second. Um, so there's a difference between being a company who's not actively hiring and being a company who is advertising that you need help. If you need help and someone replies, the least you could do is get back to them and say yes or no. That's one of the reasons why people don't want to work nowadays is because the process of getting a job is so unnecessarily tedious. How can you have 10 years experience in something that you've never done when it's an entry level job? Like I was, I was watching this Reddit video the other day. I'm not even gonna try to find it because I know that I won't. But it was this person saying that when they apply for this job, it was like a coding job, that the company he had applied to wanted 10 years experience in this type of coding that didn't even exist 10 years ago. And I laughed so hard at that, because I was like, that is so dumb. How can they expect you, like, first of all, they should know what they're hiring for. They should know, like, the program that they want you to work in. They should know that 10 years ago, that didn't exist. So there's no way to have 10 years experience in something that wasn't even around to be involved in 10 years ago. That's so dumb. Um, that's why the lady at Grocery Outlet where I worked uh, my first retail job, I loved it there. I loved it there so much. That is the only retail job that I was genuinely excited every day to get up and go to work. And I just loved it there. And I botched it when I decided to leave to go to Walmart. And all I was seeing was two more dollars an hour. And I have regretted leaving there ever since. And she
she, I was in there the other day buying some chips on the way home from going to Jersey Mike's, and I stopped in there and I told her, you know, like, first of all, it's so good to see you. Every time I come in here, you're not here, which is weird because you're always here. Um, and I told her, you know, a little bit about why I left Smart and Final and where I've worked since I left the grocery outlet. I've worked for Walmart, Albertsons, and Smart and Final since I left there back in, like, 2020. And I told her, you know, some of the reasons why I left, like I said, and she said, she paused and she was like, maybe in November, come talk to me then. And I was like, really? I want to cry. I cried when she hired me because I had prayed every night diligently for 10 months for that job and she hired me on the spot and I cried so hard and she's like why are you crying I'm like because you just you have been an answer to a prayer that I have prayed every day for 10 months and so I'm really really hoping she lets me come back on there because I loved it there I did that's the only job I can truly ever say that I loved um so uh, I know she's probably not going to see this but I would be so grateful to go to get back on there um, even if it's not with the same people that I worked with before because none of them work there anymore they've all moved on or went to college or whatnot but I feel like um, I feel like if you have a job that you love you know you love the work like if you like if you love working for animals and you get to work in an animal shelter or you're a vet tech I don't know why that thought just came to my mind that example if you get to go to work and do what you love who you work with doesn't really make that big of a difference you know to whether your day is good or bad because you are getting to do what you love if you're going to a job that you dread and you have awful co-workers that just makes it like 10 times worse because you can't even go have a good day with the people that you work with because like they're rude or they're not friendly or they're lazy <sighs> uh anyways i think I'm, I'm done ranting about that now i know i probably look crazy with my hair sticking up everywhere um other than that I bought um, Subnautica was on sale in the Nintendo Play Store for ten dollars. What a steal! Instead of the usual thirty, and I was like, I'm buying that. I have been addicted. I bought on the Switch. Cause that's the only console that I have. I have been addicted to Subnautica for like the past six days. Um, I just finished building the Cyclops, and now I'm trying to get to the Lost River. Except for the Bone Sharks keep trying to eat me, and I have seen. Reaper Leviathans and Ghost Leviathans more times than I'd like to. So that's fun. Um, I do have a thought that if I go into creative mode and use that, use that to explore, because in creative mode you can't take damage, if I use that to explore then maybe in survival mode I would know a little bit more of where I'm going because Watching people's tutorials and like, okay, you have to go start from zero point on the map and go south, southwest. I can never find where they're saying to go. Either I pass it or it's not there. And so I just don't watch tutorials anymore unless I need help finding a specific part. Like you have to go around and scan the fragments so you can build stuff in the game. I could not find the last Cyclops engine fragment for the longest time. I finally found it at the end of the Aurora, the, the rocket that crashes onto the planet. Um, while narrowly avoiding a Reaper Leviathan, which lives there at the end of the the Aurora. But Subnautica is really fun. I think it's a very interesting game. A lot of people like rolled their eyes at it when it first came out because like, oh, another survival game. Um, until they played it and realized that the game is actually about aliens. The whole planet, everything's about aliens. And it's so cool. Um, like the precursors that built the island, which they're more talked about in the second game, the Below Zero one, which I'm probably not going to play. That one's not as interesting to me as this one is. Um, I think it's pretty cool. I was watching, last night, I watched Jacksepticeye Nostalgia Week video on Subnautica, and he was sharing the story about how he met the devs, the developers of the game, at a, like a PAX, West, West PAX conference or whatever they're called. Um, and he said that the producers, or the developers, I guess it's not a movie, shared with him that his series on the game <clears throat> and the amount of people that watched it and then bought the game saved their company from bankruptcy. I think that is so cool how many people came to support them unknowingly just by buying the game and playing it. It's fun. Even if you're just doing exploring, you know, in creative mode, just getting to see all these different creatures and what they can do is so cool. 
So I want to stop talking now. I've been talking for 12 minutes and 56 seconds about absolutely nothing. So I'm going to go play Subnautica. I mean, back crochet a little. I played Subnautica for a while earlier. Like that's ever stopped me before, but I really want to get to the Lost River. I don't really need to go to the Lost River, but I want to because you have to get crystalline sulfur to make the, if you don't know what I'm talking about, just, just YouTube it. Okay, I'm going to Google it. You can do that too. The prawn suit, which is like this exoskeleton that you can wear and walk around in the deep. Oh, I'm gonna hair in my eye. Oh, help. Okay. Okay, I got it out. <laughs> um, you can walk. I don't think I'm gonna do this. I think I'll crochet for a little because I've been playing Subnautica a lot lately and my time management skills have just been thrown out the window. But you have to get crystalline sulfur to make the prawn suit jet engine update so you can like boost yourself up further I got stuck in the jelly cave and I almost died <laughs> because my prawn suit couldn't jump up high enough to get back out of the cave and I looked it up like my prawn suit is stuck in the jelly cave um, help and this one person on I think it was like a reddit post or something on, like the steam page said build platforms like opposite each other and jump to them you don't even have to build them all the way just enough that it it like plants it there and you just start to build it because even if you don't have a platform built all the way it technically is still there so you can still jump on them even if they're like barely two percent constructed you can still jump on them and, and maneuver on them and i was like oh my gosh i never would have thought of that and that is so smart and that saved me from dying in the jelly the jelly cave so thank you reddit steam page user whoever you are if you ever see this thank you very much because i did not want to have to build another prawn suit no thank you okay so tomorrow um we're gonna do the costuming my friend my only friend in person is coming over and we're gonna go trick-or-treating together i'm probably gonna be the only one dressed up my sister is a stick in the mud this year and doesn't want to put on a costume um so last minute she'll probably try to wear my princess costume from last year which I already offered for her to wear, so that's fine. I'm gonna go ask her again, actually. Speaking of sister, she walked in right when I said that and I asked her, since Halloween's tomorrow and there is no more time to Amazon a costume here, do you wanna wear my princess costume? And she said yes. And I'm elated because I did not wanna be the only one dressing up. My friend is moving, so she said her stuff's packed, so she's probably not gonna be dressed up either. Um, but that's fine. I just, I just want her to come with us because she has been working herself to death lately and so I want her to take a day to herself and just have fun and just hang out. So back here is my princess costume that I wore last year. I don't even think you guys got to see it last year because I didn't do a get ready with me last year because I don't know. But um, so I'm going to be, I'm not going to tell you this year I have to find out tomorrow. Until tomorrow for me you just keep watching and you'll find out eventually. Um, I'll probably do we're not gonna go trick or treating until like probably seven, because that's when the churches have their events. Um, maybe like, so I'll probably braid my hair early and then we'll figure out her stuff after. Okay, so see you then. No, it's not morning. It's, it's af very much afternoon, so good afternoon. I already went through and redid the parts of my hair that looked kind of flat since I slept on it. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and just get the braiding out of the way because I'm tired of my hair being like down and in my face. So, um, as a kid, I was not allowed to wear my hair down just like this. There had to be something in it, even if it was just a headband. And now that's translated to like the hatred of having my hair down because it just gets in the way. Um, so I'm gonna braid it and then and then I guess after this we'll be putting the costume on. My friend's coming at 5.30 today so I wanna try to be ready before then. Um, my sister's probably gonna be home soon so I'll probably sit her down and make, make her let me braid her hair just so we can get it out of the way. Her hair's pretty long too. <clears throat> but I want to get started on my own hair while I have ample time, so I'm going to do that. See, you would think 
like I mentioned before that I would use my actual tripod or my actual camera for this but no my cell phone is just so much more convenient that that's what I use oh did you see the doggy back there he's laying down that black blob right there that's a dog yeah he's sleeping I guess that's what he's doing so let me put on some music and then we'll start with the hair Okay, so it's braided. This is actually a very common style that I wear my hair in just because it's like an easy go-to style. You just split it in the middle or however like far down you want your braids to go. I like to do it in the middle just because it keeps the hair far enough back that it's out of my face all day. Um, when I'm working, usually if it's just you know like a random casual day, I don't put my hair in a style like this. So I'm gonna go hairspray it to get all the hairs that are sticking it to lay down. And then I'm gonna get dressed because I wanna go to Walmart. I don't know why, I just wanna go to Walmart. Walk around, I've been stuck in the house for like four days straight. I went to the store last night for my mom and uh, you know, it only took me like 15 minutes there maybe. So I'm gonna walk around Walmart and buy a snack or something. So let me, let me go fix my hair. You didn't, you can't really tell the difference. I did hairspray it, but some of the hairs just don't want to. So I'm gonna get dressed now. Obviously I'm putting on my costume. So this is gonna be the get ready with me part. As soon as I find somewhere to set my camera that is high enough that I don't have to hunch over the whole time, okay? All right, I lied about not having to hunch over, but um, behind me here is my dress and my coat. Under the dress, I'm gonna have leggings, obviously, cause for some reason, even though we're outside in the cold, it's time to sweat. And then I'm gonna wear these toe socks under my under my leggings so they can go in my boots, obviously. And I'm gonna do all that and then I'm gonna put the dress on and then I'm gonna put my shoes on because after I put the corset on, there's no way in heaven that I'm bending over to put shoes on. <laughs> so um, I will meet you back after all that is done and it's time to do corset up, okay? Okay. Okay, so. Um, I guess I'm gonna talk pretty loudly just to make sure you guys can hear me. Um, my leggings are covered in fuzz. <laughs> uh, these are the boots that I bought, except for they didn't fit in the calf, because, you know, why would they? This was a steal from Goodwill. They were $13. These boots, I looked them up, and I think they covered my JCPenney's. JCPenney. Is it one penny or two? Anyways, so I cut out the zipper, and I just bought some, like, boot shoelaces, and I, they kind of go with them since they have, they're brown and yellow. And just made them more I can lace them up in the back. It's in the back under my dress. Nobody's gonna see it. But I got them because they have this on them. And when I saw them, I knew this was the pair. And you know what was weird? Is I tried the method where you like heat up the leather and stretch it with a hair dryer. On the left leg, it worked. On the right leg, no. I don't know what the deal was. So I'm gonna put these on and then we'll just we'll do everything else. Okay? Okay. Okay, I have them on. I don't feel like I'm gonna be able to see them, but can you hear them? I can get my. You're on the top shelf of my bookcase. I can't. Oh. I just stepped on part of the bird's toy that they threw in the floor. Okay. Anyways, <laughs> next part. Okay, say bye, Gizmo. 
is gonna be leaving the room now, so say bye. Okay. Dude, I think I'm going crazy because twice I've heard I thought my dad was back home and so I was gonna take Gizmo out back to him in the living room. But he's not here. I don't know what I keep hearing that it sounds like the front door is being unlocked because it's not. Okay, anyways, I'm gonna go brush my teeth before I put my dress on. I'll be right back. Okay, I have my dress on. I just wanna address something really quickly. And it's this whole, what's the word? Hubbala? No, that's not the word, I don't know. The gardeners were just here, and now they're here again. I don't know what they're doing unless they forgot their equipment. Um, anyways, what I want to address is about this theory that Christians can't celebrate Halloween. I think I'm going to move you back down, okay? I think there's a difference in making it about the occult, you know, and taking part in that, and dressing up to get candy, which is what Halloween for me as a Christian has always been. My mom only ever can the gardeners leave my mom only ever let me dress up as something like pg so like um one year i was pippi longstocking and then i was i was like a grecian goddess for a few years and then i was as a kid i was princess jasmine that's gonna get me canceled real quick if i tried that today let me wait till they're gone i don't even know why they're here again Okay, I in fact did not want to wait for them to leave. I texted my dad to see what they were doing. They were spreading winter seed. That makes sense. Anyways, I bought this scarf. Uh, it was originally going to go on my head, you know, under the hat until I realized how big it was. So I decided it's going around my waist. Uh, just to add another layer to the dress because the dress was kind of plain. Like it's just ruffled at the bottom. So I wrapped it around my waist and then fold it down like you would a bath towel just so it would stay on long enough for me to put the corset over it. Anyways, this is the corset that I bought. Um, in the picture that I bought it from on Amazon back when I, you know, had a job and had a steady source of income. Um, it was just plain brown. This one has like a rose te texture. That's not the word. Pattern. There we go. Um, anyways, it's not the same one that I bought. But this one goes on really weird. You put it on over your head and like stick your arms through and then pull it back behind the neck. Uh, I have to give it plenty of room in the back just so that I can zip it up in the front without catching it. Catching the zipper in the fabric because I did that the first time and I broke the zipper. So I had to go to Walmart and buy a different one and sew it on there. And anyway, I still got the scarf stuck in it. See? And... Okay. Now, for the fun part. Where am I going? Where are you going? Come back. The fun part is pulling it up tight. Tighter! You can't really tell on me. It doesn't really make a difference because I'm so rotund. But that's okay. You get the idea. I really like this car set, though. I like the design. Um, it was very comfortable to where I didn't pull it so tight to where I couldn't breathe. Although I will say driving in it was incredibly strange. This is me trying to visualize myself tying it behind my back. Good. Okay. Lo loosen. Mm-hmm. Tighten up the neck strap just so it sits a little nicer in the chest area. Um, next year I might glue or sew some fabric under the neck strap because it is leather. So it kind of got a little sweaty during the night. I bought this necklace from Party City. And these earrings I'm borrowing from my mom. So that's going to be my like jewelry, edge, accessories. So putting in the earrings. The left one gave me quite a struggle. I don't know why. I guess just, you know, earrings don't like me. Which is ironic because I have eight of them. So if you hear my desk creaking, that's what that is. Okay, just because I can't be still... Or do anything without moving around the whole time just put the earring in just do it i decided to try the other one just to make sure what get in the oh because of the dog okay he kept trying to climb on top of my dinosaur you see it back there i had to tell him three times to stay off my dinosaur I don't know what he was trying to do, because behind the dinosaur is the wall. 
I don't know where he thought he was going. I finally got the dumb earring in. <laughs> yes, I do discipline my pets just like children, okay? Another earring. I'm trying to get you to see it contrasting to the wall so you can see the shape of it, but you know, never mind. So, just put the earring in. That one was so much easier than the other one. Okay, next is going to be the sword. This is a real sword from Amazon. It's not sharpened though, so no, I did not hurt myself. This flap of fabric was the one on the back of the core set. I sewed it on like that to hold the sword because I did not want to pay, you know, money for a real sword belt while I don't have a job. I'm trying not to spend the money I do have left. So I just sewed that on the side instead of, you know, throwing it, throwing it away or saving it for a project I'm never going to get to. So um, it worked out pretty well. It didn't really get in the way of my arms at all. It's high up, up enough and Gizmo's trying to get back on my dinosaur. Anyways, put the necklace on. Move the hair. Nice. I did have to take some chains off when I first bought it just because it was too long. Um, and then my hat, my tricone hat. Um, even though, according to Google, because you know how trustworthy Google is, right? That pirates didn't even actually wear hats because they got in the way of swinging, like, um, ropes and stuff. So if they had to duck, their hats would have obstructed them from view. I didn't end up wearing this coat just because, you know, everything else is brown and gold. And this is black. It didn't go together. No matter how much I tried to convince myself that it did, it did not go together. Even though it does have the shape that I want at the neck, like the pointy. And then the sleeves look cuffed, even though they're not. I think next year, if I... I'm going to be a pirate again next year. My pirate's booty, I almost forgot. You can't hear it, but I shook it. It's a bag of metal coins that I just tied onto the corset. Every time I've been doing that, the gardeners have still been here. So if you can't guess what I am by now, girlfriend, you're not going to get it. But I want you to hear what's in this bag. It's fake coins, obviously, I'm not gonna... I thought about taking out quarters from the bank and putting them in here and uh, carrying them around, but I was like, nah. Because originally I was gonna hand them out to the children, like, here, have a quarter, here, have a quarter. But, you know, those kids want candy. My dad said the gardeners are supposed to be here twice because they are spreading the winter seed for the grass. I'm like, with the lawnmower? The spreading winter seed with a lawnmower, okay. But he's the one that pays them, so I'm just gonna take his word for it. So I just tie this on to my dress here. On the, you'll see, I'm gonna show you right now anyways. Okay, so forgive the angle change that's about to happen. Hold on, move it over so I can, oh, my mirror is very dirty, wow. I almost never use this mirror. Okay, the reason I chose a, a, a black coat instead of a brown one was because for one, this was the only coat that I had that had the design that I wanted at the top. Also, I feel like it's just enough black to disrupt the brown going on. Also, from the way I look in the, in the frame, I look like I'm bald. <laughs> I'm not though. So if I take off my hat, and my hair is braided. Okay, so. Uh, so obviously I'm supposed to be a pirate, okay? I just say it, I'm sure that there's at least one of you that has not gotten it by now, but I'm supposed to be a pirate. And uh, this is the look, boots. And then the scarf over the dress, just cause I, like I said in the voiceover, um, it was way too big to put on my head. It would have been like hanging down to like below my, waist so I'm gonna go to Walmart now I actually do need to buy windshield wiper fluid but I'm probably gonna wait till the gardeners leave so I, they don't get grass all over me and this is the Luke so I will see you guys next time thank you for watching I can't get over the fact that I look bald with the hat on that's so funny all right have a safe Halloween or if at this point Halloween's already over so have a safe Halloween Thank <laughs> you.